Hey everyone, here's something different. A PC game. I mean, I know I've been doing Doom, but, you know. Like, how many actual PC games have I done for uh, Retro Showcase or Retro Request? Any? One? One that I can remember. There's probably been a couple that I've done just of my own volition without being requested, but, oh well. Anyway, this is Jill of the Jungle. This is uh, free, completely free, on uh, GOG, all three episodes. This is one of those games where back then you would you'd get the base game shareware for really cheap or just for free because it's called shareware. And it was an attempt to entice you to buy the remaining episodes. This is how Doom worked. This is how Wolfenstein worked. Uh, Jill of the Jungle, Commander Keen, Duke Nukem, uh, all kinds of old uh, PC games. And uh, now it's just free on GOG. All of it. Complete complete trilogy. I mean, it's been that way for like four or five years now. But still, I was so happy to see this on GOG. And uh, just now getting around to uh, uh, recording it, I guess. Huh. So we're not going to do the full games, obviously. Well, at least not yet. But who knows, maybe in the future. But I will show off a bit of each episode. Starting with the first one, obviously. So this is how we played games back then. <laughs> you do a bunch of prompts like, uh, uh, what, set your resolution and, and, and set uh, V-Sync and, and other sort of shit? Nah, dude, do you have uh, uh, I, can, I can just show this off. <laughs> hey, we found a sound blaster card. Ooh, a sound blaster. Kids, PCs didn't come with sound back then. At least not out of the box. You needed something called a sound blaster card. Otherwise, you'd get beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, if you were even lucky out of the, the PC speaker. This game will play a high-quality digital sound through your sound blaster, if you wish. There's a teeny chance this will cause problems if you have less than 640K of RAM, or if your computer is not totally compatible. Ooh. I don't know if we can make that threshold 640K of RAM. But we'll try it. This game features a sound blaster compatible musical soundtrack. Ooh, it even has music. Ooh. And yes, this is by Epic Mega Games, the same people that do Fortnite and Gears of War and stuff. Well, you know. Uh, will the joystick work? I mean, I'd like to use a joystick, but will it, does it actually recognize my controller? It seems to work. Uh, oh, you got to pick CGA, EGA, or VGA. Kids, we're, we're picking between a four-color setup, 16-color, and 256-color. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? Computer games used to come in four colors. Like, you can imagine black and white, sure, but four-color, that's so weird. You get, uh, you get, uh, Cyan? Cyan, how do you pronounce that? Magenta? Black and white, usually, were the colors. <laughs> That's about... If black and white count, which I think they did. There, there wasn't a whole lot of uh, variety in color. Going from four to... Like, I lived through all these color transitions, right? I've I've played games in black and white. I've played all text games. I've played four-color CGA, 16-color EGA, 256-color VGA. Now, that was a jump. Oh, boy. i tell you what. You, you ever play the King's Quest games? Try going from, say, uh, even just King's Quest 4 to King's Quest 5, and notice the difference there. Anyway, I'm, I keep blabbering. I apologize. Waxing nostalgic on how we used to play video games when I was a kid. At least on PC. Not everything was as easy as plugging a cartridge into uh, an NES or a, a Genesis and playing it that way. So Jill of the Jungle is is a, a very typical game, or a, 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 a game typical for its time. Just a, well, a, uh, a side-scrolling platformer. Uh, I'm trying to zoom in a little bit because see, the problem is with this that um, when I alt tab out to get to. Um, to uh, OBS, it 
super minimizes the window. And I cannot get it bigger again because I'm dumb. Okay, cool. It's just the B button. This is so cr it's so crazy playing this game with a with a uh, Xbox controller. Considering I played this with, with a controller as a kid, or uh, with, with a keyboard as a kid. Having a joystick on your computer was a luxury back then. Holy crap! You press F1 to get help, guys. Ah, shit. <laughs> The, the platforming is a little stiff in this. Son of a bitch. I've got to see which episode this was. Oh well. <laughs> oh shit, we got epic. Nope. Okay, that's as good as we're getting. Okay. We got our magic returning knife. Now it wasn't terribly often that I got uh, the full versions of games when I was younger because it was poor, you know. So for the longest time, I was just playing the shareware version of Doom. I was playing the shareware version of uh, Wolf 3D. But then there was a time where my dad was actually coming into a bit of money from because he was doing okay at his job, and he got me things like the full version of Doom. He got me the full version of uh, Wolf 3D. He got me the full version of uh, the original Duke Nukem. And I, I don't recall only. God damn it! Uh, I don't recall only having the uh, shareware version of this. Like, I want to say I had. Uh, like all three episodes of this from the get go. And I was absolutely in love with it. Oh, news bullet. <laughs> yeah, this is when, uh. Yeah, you know, I'll just read this. <clears throat> another superhero retires. Washington. Yeah, another computer game hero has fallen victim to an immense, unstoppable force known as Epic. The young superhero, B. Blaze, yesterday announced his retirement at age 13. I just can't compete. With those cool epic heroes. Spell it wrong. Said Blaze. But now that I'm retired, I have more time to play with my slide rule. Jill declined the comment. <laughs> it was a different time. <laughs> oh, yeah, and we can just save. Yeah, oh, my God. Um, um, uh, retro. Sure. Why not? This is a game that's not meant to be played with an analog stick. Well, actually, um, it kind of is because if you're using an actual joystick, not a controller. Again, I'm not really sure because I didn't, I didn't really use a, uh, an actual joystick too much on a computer unless I was playing a, a flight sim. If, oh, if I wasn't playing a flight sim, I was uh, using a keyboard. You know how long it took me to realize what my dad was doing, uh, what he, my dad was doing on Doom was right? Using a mouse to uh, shoot and uh, turn? I could not grasp that in my little brain. I was like, no, just use keyboard. Keyboard, good. I hope this isn't too fucking loud. It's loud in my headset, but I've also got the sound turned down for the recording, so... Oh no! Some bitch! Unlimited lives in this, actually, now that I think about it. It's just. Try and die, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, 
that's right. Ow, ow, ow. And stupid please get out of here. We had three knives? Holy shit. I can't uh, hit that guy. You have to understand that this is. This was fucking incredible back in the day. At least if you're a PC gamer. This is obviously no Mario World or something like that. That was in 1990. But, uh, yeah. For a PC, this was awesome. For me. Of course, also in 93, we had stuff like, uh, well, Doom. <laughs> Doom is still awesome even to this day. Yeah! Oh, another superhero quits. Today, world-renowned Mario resigned from his position as, as superhero at age 72. This is the latest event in an unprecedented chain of events caused by Jill's incredible popularity. We just don't stand a chance against her, so we are giving up, said Mario. We are not cool enough. Mario plans to return to his previous job, cleaning gorilla cages at the local zoo. <laughs> it's so silly. <laughs> but I'm all for it. Oh, shit, I need two gems. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Ow, stupid snake! Whee! Ah, fun! Next hit, I'm dead. Really? Are you... Wait, what? Is he getting smaller? Wow, what a... Interesting. Oh, shit. God damn it. What's the thing up? No! Oh, I'm not dead. Amazingly. Oh, god damn it! Ah, the control was really awkward for using chains and stuff. Uh. No, sir. Ah, you bitch! Yeah, here. Oh, I miss this game. Oh, that's that's just a. Uh, okay. Oh shit! Fucking ghosts. Um, nah, I don't even, it's fine. Isn't it nice supposed to return to me on my own, on its own, or eventually? Ow! Yeah! I guess not, I have to go get my knife. Oh, it's supposed to be checkpoints? Maybe? Oh, you bitch! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Oh, it's got all going to shit. Oh, I got him, finally. Damn it. Oh no. Oh no. Ow. Oh 
Okay, now I'm curious. <laughs> secret? No secret. Oh, wait. Her? Oh, yeah. That's where we came from, derp. God damn it. Look at the torch is far out. Oh man, I had three knives before. Boo. Yeah. Give to Steve. Son of a bitch. Uh oh. Uh, uh oh. If you can't finish out this level, may talk quits. I had two other episodes to show, and uh... They're not radically different in terms of, like, gameplay or anything, as far as I remember. Uh... What you on about? Oh. Well, alright. 17 minutes, that's okay. Give us a save. There we go. I think that'll do for this one. A little, I mean, you know. I wouldn't mind doing this one day as a full LP, honestly. But, uh, I don't know. That's for another time. Next two days, we'll see the other two episodes. Oh, yeah, if you wait too long. Uh, like, the narrator or whatever will just say something on the bottom of the screen. And Jill will actually, like, kind of react. What else pops up? Look, an airplane! Oh, is that the only one? But yeah, she actually looks up. We'll wait for one more. I thought there was other ones, but I could be wrong. Are you just gonna sit there? <laughs> She's <just> nuts! <laughs> That's cool. Alright then, thank you folks for watching, and we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Later!